Welcome to my YouTube channel, Real Data Hero, where I like to present, introduce and explain my analysis and graphs on public data concerning the COVID-19 disease, which I make available for download on my Telegram channel. In this video, I want to illustrate the statements of the German Chancellor Angela Merkel regarding the Minister-President's conference on the vaccination issue, which was broadcasted live on the joint German channel Phoenix of ARD and ZDF during a press conference on April 26, 2021. Summarizing the results of the conference, the Federal Chancellor gives an explanation of the connection between vaccination rate and the seven-day incidence. The incident value was concretized as a measurement in the current amendments to the Infection Protection Act and made binding for all federal states. Since this explanation has already given rise to several video contributions in social media and in keeping with the intentions of my channel, I would like to limit myself to a rational illustration of Angela Merkel's statements. In particular, this video is meant to clarify questions of understanding and help to avoid misunderstandings and misinterpretations. Since I cannot include the Chancellor's original speech here, I will translate the wording in the overall context starting at 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Previously, the Chancellor put the status of the vaccination project with complete vaccination coverage, which means the completion of both vaccinations at about 7%. Now to the quotation of the addressed excerpts of her remarks. We will enter a transitional phase, which is also not easy because we will have more and more vaccinated people, but still a relevant part of the population that is not vaccinated. This means that we now have 50% who have been vaccinated twice, who no longer pose a risk of infection and 50% of the population are not vaccinated. Then an incident of 100 in the total population basically means that for the non-vaccinated, only they are affected by the probability of disease, there's basically an incidence of 200. This means that we still have a considerable risk for our health system. And on the one hand, we have to look at what rights vaccinated people get but on the other hand, we also have to keep in mind that not everyone could be vaccinated yet. What does this mean for the risk of infection for the part of the population that has not been vaccinated? Over the summer, when everyone has been offered vaccination, this will of course change into a majority opinion. And at some point, we will reach a point where only those who do not want to be vaccinated will be affected because we will not have a 100% willingness to be vaccinated. Then it is an individual decision, but in the intermediate phase it is of course a decision where not every citizen can be offered vaccination. We have to deal with this question very sensitively and at the same time respect our fundamental rights as laid down by the basic law and that will also be a considerable political effort. On the right side of this slide, I have created a graphic that summarizes and illustrates the Chancellor's statements. The Chancellor's statements contain some premises that form the basis of a calculation example. First, vaccination provides 100% protection against infection with the coronavirus. Second, the statement also means that there is 100% protection against the new dangerous mutations such as the British mutant, which in fact dominate the current occurrence of infection. Third, everyone who is fully vaccinated no longer participates in the infection event and is therefore no longer involved in the new infection figures and the resulting incidents. Fourth, all new infections take place among citizens who could not yet be offered a possibility of vaccination and who do not yet benefit from this protection. Fifth, because of this situation, which will continue to shift towards the vaccinated population as more and more people get vaccinated, the vaccinated share of population must actually be subtracted from the total population for the factual calculation of incidence. 
Now I would like to explain the associated process of calculation using this graph. A 7-day incidence of 100 per 100,000 inhabitants corresponds to 83,167 new infections in 7 days for 83.167 million German citizens. If 50% of the citizens are vaccinated, an incidence of 100 is still calculated on the total population according to the calculation rules and thus still corresponds to 83,167 new infections. Since, according to the Chancellor, new infections now only occur among the remaining 41.583 million non-vaccinated people, the incidence should actually now, according to her reasoning, be calculated on this remaining population group affected by the infection and would thus double and increase to 200. As the Chancellor states that full vaccination coverage of the entire population is targeted for this summer, I have set August 21, 2021 as the date for my calculation. Thus, by then, the unvaccinated portion of the population will accordingly continue to decline proportionally towards the target of 100% full vaccination coverage. With a constant new infection rate of 83,167 within 7 days, the newly calculated real incidence will thus gradually grow exponentially according to this green curve. On August 21st, a real incidence, defined by Angela Merkel, of 6,667 would thus be reached, which now, mathematically, grows exponentially towards infinity. The linear increase in the vaccination rate from the current 7 to 100% is shown in light turquoise, and the incident of 100 calculated in the usual way against the total population and assumed to be constant, is shown in red, which corresponds to the Chancellor's example calculation. The aim of my presentation is to clarify the Chancellor's assumptions and scientific findings, as well as to visualize the results and further development with regards to the promised offer of complete vaccination to the population by summer. If there are any questions regarding the calculation or the Chancellor's further statements, I would like to encourage you, as always, to do your own research. The PDF is available for free use in my Telegram group, as well as the possibility for further exchange in the discussion group. I hope that my explanations have been enlightening and that I have succeeded in showing the connections. This video will soon be published in four other languages. Also, another detailed video on the background of the incidence calculation based on extensive data will be published soon. I would like to express my gratitude for the support with the translations and recordings in English, French, Italian and Spanish. If you like this video and my work, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and join the Telegram group Real Hero to receive further updates and videos. You will also find a lot of supplementary information there. International topics and data will also be published there.